It is one of the deadliest climbing seasons in years on the world's highest mountain. And yes, Americans are involved. Chris Coolish, coming from Colorado, as you mentioned, uh, died just yesterday. He joins 55 year old Donald Cash from Utah, who was killed last week. Two of the 11 who have died on the mountain just in the last two weeks. The cause of the deaths, mainly altitude sickness as a combination of lack of oxygen, exhaustion, dehydration. Experts blame a number of reasons for the spike in the casualties. First, you got to admit the daunting nature of the task itself. Mount Everest is over 29,000 feet tall. Well, treacherous under any circumstances. But weather this year, including some very high winds, was bad, causing a backup of people getting ready to climb. And then when they got on the mountains, well, you're seeing the images. The sheer number of climbers uh, causing a gridlock on, on the side of these mountains. 381 permits were allowed this year by Nepal, one of the countries adjoining the mountain at eleven thousand dollars a piece that's down to greed by that country plus the inexperience of the climbers once a scene of only skilled mountain climbers one observer said now we're in the age of the selfie even on Mount Everest. Experts are calling for a tighter control, again, on the number of permits being given out and screening the climbers a, a little better but maybe more folks should be just be looking up at the summit instead of going up.